So in this video, we are going to learn classification of binary codes. So these binary codes are classified as numeric code, alphanumeric code, sequential code, cyclic code, reflective code, and error detecting and error correcting code. Now this numeric code is further divided into two categories, weighted code and non-weighted code. And this weighted code is further divided into two categories positive weighted code and negative weighted code. So these all are the types of binary codes. And now we are going to learn each of them. But before we move ahead, there is an important thing that we supposed to understand. And that is what is code? What do we understand by code? So basically a code refers to a systematic arrangement of symbols, letters or numbers. And they are used to represent some information or some instruction or some data in a structured or encoded form that is known as code, a kind of heavy definition it was, right? So now we understood what is code, but we are going to discuss binary code. So now let me simply represent the binary code to you. The binary code is systematic arrangement of zeros and ones to represent some information. That is the binary code. And here the entire list you are seeing on your screen, they all are different ways to represent information using different combinations of zeros and ones. They all are different types of binary codes. So now, first of all, we are going to start with the weighted code. Weighted code is basically a binary coded decimal number or BCD number. In weighted code, each decimal number is represented by 4-bit binary number and each position of the number has some specific weight. Let us take an example of 8421 code. Here each position has some specific weight like 8, 4, 2 and 1. So if we take any random example, let's say this 0101. So if we write this 0101 binary number, then its decimal equivalent would be like 0 into 8 is 0, 1 into 4 is 4, 0 into 2 is 0, 1 into 1 is 1. So 0 plus 4 plus 0 plus 1, that gives us 5. So in order to build this 5, each digit has some specific weight. It has 1, it has 2, it has 4 and it has 8. Like this 8421 code, there are other weighted codes. Codes like 7421, 6311, 5421, 4221, 3321, 2421, 84 minus 2 minus 1, 74 minus 2 minus 1. These all are the examples of weighted code. But here you can spot some difference in all these codes. All these codes has positive weight on each and every position. Whereas several position of this codes has some negative weight. So that is why these codes are known as positive weighted codes. Whereas these codes are known as negative weighted codes. Let us take an example of 84 minus 2 minus 1 code. So this is the representation of 84 minus 2 minus 1 code. Here let us take an example of this 1011. And let's place weight of each of the position 84 minus 2 minus 1. So 8 into 1 is 8, 0 into 4 is 0, 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 and 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. So 8 plus 0 minus 2 minus 1 that gives us 5. So the representation of decimal 5 into 8, 4 minus 2 minus 1 code is 1, 0, 1, 1. Let us take one more example of this 1, 1, 1, 1. So this 1, 1, 1, 1 gives us 8, 4 minus 2 minus 1. If we add them then 8 plus 4 minus 2 minus 1 then that gives us 9. So this is how this negative weighted codes are constructed. So these were the weighted codes where each and every digit has some specific weight. And now we'll see non-weighted codes. In non-weighted code there is no specific positional weight. The examples of non-weighted codes are access 3 code and gray code. And this is how each digit are represented in access 3 and gray code. We will not discuss these in detail right now because in upcoming videos we are going to discuss this access 3 code and gray code in detail. So this is what non-weighted codes are and now we are going to understand the next code and that is alphanumeric code. But before we move ahead, you just tell me that the gray code is weighted code or non-weighted code. Write your answer in comments below and then we will move ahead. The question is quite simple. The gray code 
is weighted code or non weighted code quickly comment and then we'll move ahead so now we are going to understand the alphanumeric code so in computing the alphanumeric code utilized to represent characters symbols and numbers let me show you a few of the famous examples of alphanumeric code so the first of them is ASCII ASCII code that is American standard code for information interchange the next is EBCDIC code it stands for extended binary coded decimal interchange code and the final one is unicode basically this ascii code is 7 bit coding system so because it is 7 bit coding system we can have 128 possible combinations to assign to any character number punctuation mark or any control character let me give you an example representation of capital m in ascii code is 100101 One. Basically, this capital M is seventy seventh character in ASCII code, and seventy seven is one zero zero one one zero one, and that's how this code is formed. Now we'll see the next code, EBCDIC code. This code is basically eight bit code, and which is advanced version of ASCII code. So if it is eight bit code, we can have two fifty six combinations to assign to any characters or numbers or any punctuation mark. or any control character if we represent capital m in ebc dic code then that would be equivalent to f4 and now we'll see the third one that is unicode this unicode method is the latest method amongst all these three method and nowadays we use this unicode method to code the characters and numbers in unicode we can have utf8 code utf16 code or utf32 code So simply it means we can have 8 bit code we can have 16 bit code and we can have 32 bit code so just imagine that how large numbers of combination we can assign to any numbers or punctuation marks or characters and if we represent capital m in unicode 8 method then it is 0 cross 4 d so this is what the alphanumeric codes are and after this we are going to explore the sequential code These codes follow the specific sequence or order in their arrangement. In sequential code, each successive code is obtained by altering just one binary digit from its preceding code. It will consistently represent an increment in numerical values. And the examples of numerical code are access three code and add four two one code. Here you can see that if you increase the magnitude of this number by just one binary digit, it will become the code of very next number. Just increase one, and it will become code of next number, right? So this is what the sequential code is. And now we are going to move ahead. But before we move ahead, can you tell me that the access three code is which type of code? Whether it is sequential code or it is non-weighted code or it is both sequential and non-weighted code. So think and then write your answer quickly in comment section. And now we are going to move ahead towards the next code, and that is known as the cyclic code. In cyclic code, consecutive codes differ from each other by altering only a single bit position at a time, and that is also by maintaining a sequential progress where each code is closely related to the next immediate code. The example of cyclic code is gray code. Now here you have found one thing that the sequential code and cyclic code you have found little bit similarities between them and in sequential code you attain the next code by altering just one binary digit in cyclic code you attain the next code by altering only single bit position at a time so the difference in between these two are in sequential code and consistent incremental numerical values are there that means the code of 6 is larger than the code of 5 the code of 5 is larger than the code of Four and like so on, whereas in cyclic code, in each successive code there is only change of one bit. Let's say here it is zero one one zero, so the next code is zero one one one. So only change in one position. In these two code also there is only change in one position. Okay, so now I think the difference between cyclic code and sequential code is clear to you. So before we move ahead towards the next code I want you to write the difference between cyclic code and sequential code in comments below and then we'll move ahead so the next code that we are going to learn that is reflective code this reflective code is also known as the self complementing code let us see three examples of reflecting code 
they are access 3 code 2421 code and 84 minus 2 minus 1 code in reflective code, the code of 0 to 4 is complemented by the code of 9 to 5. Here you can see the code of 9 is complement of 0. The code of 8 is complement of 1. And likewise, the code of 7, 6 and 5 are the complements of 2, 3 and 4. So this is what the reflective codes are. And after this reflective code, the next code that we are going to understand are error detecting and error correcting code. When we transmit a digital signal, it is possible that signal got malfunctioned because of the noise. Let us say we are sending a signal 0101 and due to the noise in transmission, when it get received to the receiving end, it had become 0111. So this bit has shifted from 0 to 1. So instead of receiving 0101, we are receiving 0111. So it's clear that what information we have sent and what information we are receiving have changed and that creates error. So to detect this type of error, the error detecting code is used and the example of error detecting code is parity code. And there are two types of parity code, even parity and odd parity. So using this parity code, we can detect the errors. The way we detect the errors, there are several codes which can correct the errors. And those codes are Hemming codes. So these two codes are the examples of error detecting and error correcting codes. So this is the full classification of codes. And now in upcoming videos, we are going to explore many of these codes in detail. So to learn that, you can watch the next video into this playlist. And yeah, do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have found this video useful. And if you have enjoyed this content, hit the like button. So see you into the next video.